Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Daryl here. It is bright and freaking early, man. It's 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, this morning, I'm a little irate this morning. Uh, some old bad feelings have been dug up. I was going through the news, all the different news stories this morning, and I didn't find much. There just hasn't been that much I, I really found interesting in the news, like on TMZ or anything like that lately. And I, I decided, as I was getting ready, as I was toweling off and getting ready to come out and make this video, I, I thought about, hey, what, what about Ted Nugent? What about Kid Rock? I wonder what they're up to. I haven't heard a lot about Ted Nugent lately. So I decided to, at the last minute, I decided to look on Ted Nugent's Instagram page. And if I remember right, this was back about, not even two years ago, Ted Nugent himself came down with COVID. And he himself, I think he said that he, he felt like he was dying and that, uh, you know, he had a terrible time of it. He could barely walk. He could barely breathe and all this other stuff. And he really thought he was good. it was going to be the end for him. And so I go onto his Instagram page. And uh, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, you talk about conspiracy theories. Uh, it's just wall-to-wall -wall nonsense. Just, just fear-mongering nonsense. Uh, about what's going on in the Middle East, uh, about Biden, just ridiculous, just over the top, ridiculous stuff about Biden and Obama and Michelle Obama and uh, all sorts of stuff. But really, what really ticked me off, right? And he's, he's still showing this stuff. This is just a recent Instagram post, and I'll use it on my thumbnail, and I'll put the link to it down below so you can see yourself. Like I said, he almost passed away from COVID. And I hadn't heard much from him lately, so I thought, well, maybe, maybe he realized, you know, what an idiot he is, you know, believing this stuff, and maybe he's chilling out a little bit. No, nope, not at all. So, on his Instagram page, just a recent post, I see that there's the one thing that just stares me in the face. It's a fire pit, and it says, uh, like, 100% unvaccinated conservative, and then it says all this other stuff about Biden and liberals and all this other angry you know, you got to wonder why this guy is, is always so ticked off and violent. But besides for that, like I said, it says this stuff about unvaccinated. And then I came across another post that said, uh, I don't even want to say it. It has to do with COVID and the population of the world. I, I, I don't even want to spread this nonsense. I, I don't even want to repeat this nonsense on my channel. And there's a there's a strong reason for that. And I, I know you guys have heard this before, but this really it, it just put look at it this way. If you're tired of me talking about this, if it were you, if you had lost like the person you love most in this world to COVID, and because of the reason that I believe she passed away, let me be more specific. I know I've told you guys this before. Audrey, this is Audrey. She was the first girl. Like third grade, she was my girlfriend. First, first little, first, first girl I was ever interested in. Third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. Uh, I, I went to the amusement park. We went on a field trip. I went to the amusement park with her in our school field field trip back in sixth grade. We 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 separated for a while. She went her way. She got married. Uh, I I started partying. I got into other stuff, and we went our different ways for like thirty years. Then, apparently, we both got clean and sober, and we both ended up in the same small town, and we saw each other again, and we started dating again, and it, it was like this this woman was my soulmate. This woman was meant for me. After she passed away, her her sister sent me, she went through all, all Audrey's stuff after Audrey passed away, 55 years old, a completely healthy, vibrant, intelligent, sexy, beautiful woman, healthy. She passed away and her sister went through all her possessions and she found a diary page from when Audrey was 10 years old. And it says, and it says, I'm going ice skating with my boyfriend, Daryl, tonight. I love him. I had never seen this and it just freaking broke my heart. Uh, okay, now let me just fill you guys in. Like I said, you know, we had our ups and downs. And a lot of it had to do with her being a hardcore Trump conservative. And she listened to stuff like this. She, she named her cat Rush after Rush Limbaugh, another, another nutcase like this. You know, so she listened to this. She listened, her, her, her family listened to like talk radio, the conservative talk radio. And they totally believe this stuff of all the, about the, you know, remember how, how Donald Trump started pushing for the vaccine, started going for the vaccine for COVID. 
And then once he got kicked out of the White House, every, the whole conservative group just flipped around. And they wanted nothing to do with the vaccine. Well, she was one of those people. And we had our ups and downs. And a lot of it had to do with me being a, a complete liberal and her being a, a conservative. I still remember many mornings when I was uh, working out downstairs and she was getting ready to go to work. And I would just, I, one of us would bring something up like about, uh, uh, oh, what's his name? Um, uh, when the Black Lives Matters, um, oh, I can't remember his name now. We, we get in arguments almost every morning and we, we kind of split up for a while. And uh, let me tell you about the last time I saw her. The last time I saw her, we, we, I saw her, she, she was going to move down to Florida, and then I was going to move down with her after she got settled in down there. So I went to say goodbye to her. It was the day before she was driving down. And we talked for a while. She was getting ready to pack. And I, 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 at the door, I gave her a big hug and a big kiss. And I kind of joked. And I said, yo, where's your mask? How come you don't? And this was back in 2021. It was June 2021 or July 2021. And I was like, well, neither one, we don't have a mask. Neither one of us have a mask on. I said that joking around. And then it, this, the subject came up and I said, you, you haven't been vaccinated. And she says, no, I'm not, you know, I, I don't think, I, I, I don't think it works. I have all the, you know, she had all these, these ideas about the vaccination. And then I said, well, of course I've been vaccinated. I've gotten all the boosters since then. Every booster, I just got another one a month ago. And I am still here and I'm healthy. I've, I've got these boosters. I got these shots for the last what year, two years, the last two years. And I am healthy. My, I got the heart. I, I, I literally walk six miles a day and I bike 10 miles every day. I work out for four hours every day. And I've gotten all these vaccinations, healthy. She, on the other hand, other hand went down to Florida and within one day, one or two days of getting to Jacksonville. She contracted the Delta variant virus, uh, the, the Delta variant of the COVID virus. And she was almost immediately hospitalized in intensive care. Nobody could see her. She died alone in a hospital room. Uh, she was quickly intubated and she was unconscious for most of that month. Uh, she actually got MRSA uh, from the hospital from like the tape being on her face and uh it's probably better that I didn't see her it just kills it kills me I, I think about that diary page that little 10 year old girl saying how she, I was her boyfriend and she loved me and how we met again you know years later you know this was my soulmate this is the woman I love more than anything in the world and people like Ted Nugent and Rush Limbaugh and Donald Trump took her life with these lies, this nonsense. So she didn't get vaccinated. She, she died. She was a conservative. She was unvaccinated and it killed her. And, uh, so the first thing I see on, on is this is, I'm going to use this on my thumbnail. First thing I see when I go to Ted Nugent's Instagram page is unvaccinated conservative, you know, and that's what killed the woman I love most in this world was being an unvaccinated conservative and he, this this idiot Nugent is still pushing this nonsense here's the proof man here's the proof right here here's her obituary there's her obituary she died and not only that the DeSantis uh, the governor uh, they wanted to call it uh, asthma Audrey never had asthma a day in her life. They tried to cover up with hers and thousands of other deaths in Florida. True story. So this is what being a conservative will get you dead. Sorry I'm talking about this again, but it just set me off seeing that picture this morning uh, when I went onto Ted Nugent's page and I saw that unvaccinated conservative. Yeah, that, that killed my, my soulmate. All right, I'll be back later with another video. You guys have a good Tuesday.